Did you have a question or? I do. Well, is what is it? Is why you're taking pictures in here? Oh, uh, yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, Can I'm, ask why? Yeah, I'm working on something for myself. Yeah. Okay. We just can't have anyone go beyond the door. Oh, yeah, I didn't go. I didn't go beyond the door. No problem. Yep. Yeah, you're uh, speaking with me, so I'm just trying to get who's talking to me. He said, don't pay attention to the loser. Is this a public building? Yeah, but he's a supervisor. He doesn't want you here. So you've been warned. So let's go. I'm not sure that matters. It does matter. Right. Are you cool. step outside? Yeah, that's not the way trespassing works. Yes no. Is it a request? No, it's an order. Step outside. It's an order? It's an order. Do you Get understand outside. the way trespassing works, sir? Okay. I can't be trespassed from public. What's going on, Bay Fam? It's your boy, Bay Area Transparency, and we're back at it once again. And for this video, we're in the city of Menlo Park, California. It's a small little city over there. It's actually a well-off city, a upper-middle-class city over there by Palo Alto, California. And what we did is we went ahead and went to the West Bay Water Sanitation District office, and things went haywire and this is one of the videos and i always stress this in my videos and i tell you guys but i've never actually shown you in the videos when i'm approached by officers and they start telling me to leave a lot of people say why don't you just remain silent and play dumb and this and that and i do that to an extent but then you hear me start coming out with the law and verbally standing up for my rights now in this video i'm going to show you what happens when you do not do that or maybe you don't fully know your rights but you know you can be where you can be but if you can't verbalize your rights and the laws and these things i'm going to show you how the officers will act and it will not go in your favor and it does not go in my favor here and these officers open the city up to a lawsuit in this video you guys will see exactly what I'm talking about now the next portion of this is the district manager has now closed the office when I went to this office you didn't have to wear a mask there was no COVID there was no nothing when I came back the next business day all of a sudden the office was closed they had a notice on the website for the sanitary district saying that their office is closed due to COVID no that's not true their office is closed because I went there with the camera and they have now shut it down. I went back five times in a row, five different days to this office. It was closed every single time. They're wasting public tax dollars. That's all I'm going to say. Let's go ahead and get to the video. It's Bay Area Transparency. Follow us on Facebook, Bay Area Transparency Official. Follow us on Instagram, at Bay Area Transparency. Let's do it. All right, all right. Here we go, Bay Fam. We are going to the water sanitation district now. Um, I just went to check out the corporate yard. I didn't really, I decided real fast that I didn't want to go there. I'd much rather come over here. Um, so that's what we're going to do. And uh, yeah, man, bear with me. Let's see what goes on. Let's hop up in here. Yeah, exempt. We got a nice little waterfall. Under three, that's cool. Hello. Let's check this out. Can I help you with something? Oh, no, I'm good. Appreciate it.
So I, I don't I don't understand. Is was that a question or did you have a question or? I do. Well, is what there is a it? Reason why you're taking pictures in here? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, Can you ask why? Yeah, I'm working on something for myself. Yeah. Okay. We just can't have anyone go beyond the door. Oh yeah, I didn't go. No I didn't problem. go beyond the door. No problem. Yep. All right, you gotta get by. Yeah. Oh yeah. Can I help you with anything? No, I'm good. Appreciate it. Okay. Can I ask who you're with? I'm by myself. Yeah, there's nobody else here. No resident? Are you a resident or a reporter or? Why is that? Why is any of that? No, I'm just matter? asking you if you can, uh, if you're allowed, or if you want to um, give me that information. Oh, I don't give. Yeah, I don't like to give the information. Yeah. No reason for me to give you that information. Okay. Well, you're in a public place taking photos, and I just, uh, and since I manage this place, I figured I'd ask you who you're with and what you're up to. Okay. For cool. the safety and security of my staff. Cool. Yeah. Thanks for asking, man. Uh, what do you do here? I'm the general manager. Oh, awesome. What's your name? Sergio. Oh, cool. Good to meet you. All right, cool. Stick around while you're taking your photos and uh, make sure everybody's safe. Well, I don't see how anybody's unsafe uh, at this point. Well, but you want to identify yourself, so that already has me sus suspect. Um. Do you typically just walk up to people and ask them to identify themselves? When they're uh, in, uh, in uh, my place of work, yes. You just walk up and say, hey, I who are, who are you? Work, identify yes. yourself. Really? Yeah, most people identify themselves hmm. uh, out of courtesy. Oh, it's courteous to identify yourself? It's very courteous to identify yourself. Huh. I've, uh, I've never heard that one before. I've never, I, I, I don't think it's uncourteous if, you know, if I don't need you to know who I am or want you no, to know no, who I am then it's whatever you're up to so you can you can just stop well you're talking to me so and I'm just saying people it don't have to people don't, uh, well I mean I don't know who any of you are either right so who, who's who's talking to me here <laughs> well what was that how was that rude saying I don't saying I don't know who any of you are is being rude He's, you know what? Hey guys, he's he's probably a YouTuber or some. How is this something rude? Like that. Just leave him alone. Okay. Please don't take pictures feel, of me. I don't want to be in your photo. So. If you feel unsafe, can, I'm gonna call. The no, police. I'm just saying, don't take photos of us over here, please. I don't want to be in your photo or in your video. Yeah, you're uh, speaking with me, so I'm just trying to get who's talking to me. Uh, don't take photos. Guys, don't pay attention to this loser, please. Photo. Photo. Guys, don't pay attention to don't this want loser, want to be please. Photo. Guys, don't pay attention to this loser, please. Just don't pay attention to the loser. I'm going to call the police if he doesn't He said, don't pay attention to the loser. Oh, boy. How professional is that, bud? Calling somebody a loser when you're on duty, huh? I don't understand that. Why would you say that? How, how am I a loser? Huh? I'm not going to engage in whatever you just did. Is. You called me a loser. Right. You're, you're being disrespectful and unprofessional. Why are you doing that? I haven't done anything disrespectful or unprofessional. I'm just going about my business. And like a piece of trash that you are, you called me a loser. Uh, it's all right. You can call people a loser for no fucking reason. I'm not even talking to none of these people. They start freaking out on me. I wasn't even, so just so you guys know, I wasn't even taking pictures of you guys at all until you started yelling at me how uncomfortable you are and stuff. So I just came to talk to you, so. Yeah, I mean that would have been a better way to say it. Like I if I if 
uh, I, I don't know, I, I, maybe I remember just a bit differently. Like, if you would have said, hey, can I please not be in your photos, then I would have no problem with that. But when you guys start saying, hey, you're making us uncomfortable, and you're doing this, and you're doing that, and you're being rude, and your idiot boss says that somebody's a loser when he shouldn't be talking like that, when you guys are being paid by tax dollars, is uh, just stupid. I don't understand why you guys would do that. So, anyways, smell left where everybody could just grab it. I can, I can hear this dude back here on the phone. I'd like to report such and such and such and such. Let me see this. Is this a... Uh, no, there's no... There's no... Uh, Thing on here. I guess this is open to the public. There's no nothing that from the door that says it's not, and the door is wide open. So I'm assuming it is. I'll just get some angles in here. Um, yeah. So you got the sanitary manager who's like, "Don't pay attention to this loser, guys. Don't pay attention to this loser." Uh, you might have just lost your job by sitting there calling somebody in the public a loser. Like I haven't really said anything to them. I was, wasn't even focusing on them, as you guys can see in the videos. I was taking pictures of the walls and the doorways and the hallways and things like that. Um, and then you got this guy who came and totally escalated the whole situation into name-calling and calling a loser. Which me? Oh, yeah, you can definitely come in here. I just heard him say that cops are coming. He's uh, given a false narrative at this point, saying I'm harassing him and he knows about this stuff. So, uh, can, can you please not direct your camera this way? Here, I'm you guys, asking you. Guys, you, you guys want to like, yeah. I, I thought you could see it from the other side. I thought you said you weren't going to take pictures of us you in this area. Uh, I said, yeah, you should have asked it ni I, I the nice way first. Yeah. I'm really taking, I'm focusing on him. It, you weren't even You're actually harassing in my it, staff. So. My staff is crying right now. You're I'm harassing. I'm har staff. How am I harassing I need anybody? You to leave. How am I harassing anybody? You are harassing my staff. You how? need to leave. How? You have how no business in here. You don't have a permit to pull or anything like that. You need to leave. You're okay. harassing. You're harassing my staff. This is. I have business. I'm busy right now. You have no business at the district. I do. Yeah. I'm. I'm, I'm taking pictures. All right, the cops are on their way. Just that's so you know. that's fine. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's that's fine with me. I mean, you know, it's I'm just try, I'm just uh, concerned about. Do you typically talk to people like that? Like I got freaking checks left out on the table. People could see and take pictures of. So stupid. Um, you typically just talk to people like that. Say, so don't pay attention to this loser. No, no, no. You you typically do that because somebody doesn't want to give you their name. Seems kind of ignorant, right? I mean, you wouldn't do that out here if you didn't hurry up and have your phone to call the cops, you know? See what I'm saying? I can see in your eyes, you never say that to anybody. But here you got the cops and you think you're tough and all that. I didn't say nothing to you. I wasn't calling you names. I was being professional. I just told you I didn't want to tell you my name. That was it. And I don't have to. And the focus was never on your staff. Actually, your staff had said nothing to me. I was taking pictures, wasn't even looking at them. And you came in, and what'd you do? You escalated the situation. Pretty ignorant, if you ask me. It's pretty dumb. So who's the loser, bud? When you lose your job for being unprofessional and calling me a loser, right, and not knowing how to do your job the right way, then we'll see who the loser is. So, me, I'll still, I'll still be working. <laughs> not Menlo Park PD here. So, we got loser buddy here. It says the staff are crying. They're crying because somebody's in here with a camera. That doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> I've never heard that one before. It's funny. Get this. Get this this way. Hey, what's going on? Oh, I didn't call you guys. They did. I know, so, uh, but they called about you. What are you here awesome. waiting for? Sir? He's harassing my staff. I'd like to have him arrested and press charges, please. <laughs> you want to not to return? <laughs> I have him 
I swear it out. That's yes. Funny. Okay. Please, sir. Come on out, sir. Come on out. What's your name and badge number? Come on out. Got a name and badge number? We'll talk about it outside. Let's go. This is a public building? Yeah, but he's a supervisor who doesn't want you here. So you've been warned. So let's go. I'm not sure that matters. It does matter. How? Let's go. Let's go talk about it outside. How does it matter? Let's talk about it outside. Tell me how it matters. We will discuss this outside. Am I being detained? You're about to be because he's requesting that you <clears throat> the property. I'm about to be detained? Yes. For what? For trespassing. Trespassing? Yes. In public? No, this is a this is the building, a private building. Public building. Who's it's it owned by if it's private? Not you. That's pretty damn sure. So let's go. <laughs> it's not owned by the public? Let's go out. Come on. Is it owned by the public? Sir. Sir. Is this owned by the public? And what's your name and badge number? We'll get that information when you step outside. He yeah. has no business requesting a permit or anything like that. This is a public building, but he has no business attend, uh, asking public for building. a there permit. He's not here for an application. He's here to harass. Okay. Uh, I haven't done anything. Because this man is harassing them. I want to arrest him <laughs> for harassment and this trespassing. He's he has powerful. no business in this public administration building. Okay. So he's trespassing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Will you right, step cool. outside? Yeah, that's not the way trespassing Will you step works. Outside? Yes step or no? outside? Is it a request? No, it's an order. Step outside. It's an order. It's an order. Do you understand the way trespassing works, sir? Okay. Then turn around. I can't be trespassed from public. You're making a mistake. You're making a mistake. You're putting your hands on me. You're making a mistake. All right. Will you step outside? Yeah, that's not the way trespassing. Will you step outside? Yes or no? Is it a request? No, it's an order. Step outside. It's an order? It's an order. Do you understand outside. the way trespassing works, sir? Okay. Then turn around. I can't be trespassed in public. You're making a mistake. 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 <laughs> All right. You guys are done. <laughs> this is hilarious. You fucked up, bro. You lost your job. Okay. Well, hold on to your phone. No, I'm not. Hold on. I can record this. Oh, there's my phone out of my hand. Okay, cool. You guys uh, realize you're fucked up, right? Where's your sergeant? Underwater. Where's your sergeant? I'm the sergeant. It doesn't look like you got three to me. You got two. Sergeant. Alright, now you got an idiot. Here, have a seat right here. Um, no, I told you to have a seat. I don't care what you told me. I'm under arrest. You're detained. I'm detained for what? I'm illegally detained right now. I'll put you in the back of the court. Actually, 14 from 7. You guys are, I'll stand here. I'm a threat. Can you stand here with him? I'm illegally detained, and you fucked up. Give me my phone back, huh? Yes, you guys are good. Why would you grab? Man, you guys know how trespassing is? Why is your body cam not on, by the way? Is it on? Is your body cam on? And what's your name and badge number? Name and badge number, bud. Guys, give me the information. I don't see what the problem with that is. I'm being respectful to you guys. You guys need to realize that people don't have to listen to me. Why am I in touch? When is the two times you can put people in touch? For safety, you guys were in danger. And to arrest them, you guys don't have a crime that you can arrest them for. Alright, so we're gonna go wait in this car, okay? Am I under arrest? 
No, you're not under arrest. I already told you. Well, then I don't need to go sit in the car. Well, it's an order. You're going to the car. Put some in the car. I'm not going to run. I'm fucking walking to the car. Tell me how it's down, huh? Well, you can't arrest me, so. Go ahead, Rudy. Tied me down. Searching me. People are searching this day. You can't search somebody unless you have reasonable suspicion that they have a weapon. Okay. Have a seat. Yeah. All right. Let's see how long this thing is. Oh, damn it. Cuffs are too tight. All right. Cuffs are tight. They're hurting out of my wrist at this point. These guys are, are, are handcuffing me and putting me in a car because the water sanitation guy says that uh, he wants me arrested and so they're just doing what another city employee says regardless of what the law says. Regardless of what the law says, they're just following what another city employee says. Uh, they just violated the sh out of my rights. They cannot physically detain me for no crime for recording. Um, and I didn't have to talk to him or tell him anything. It didn't matter what the guy said, the manager for the water sanitation district. So, thanks up. So let's see if they take me to jail. He's calling his lieutenant right now. Yep, he's on the phone calling somebody and he's gonna realize very fast he fucked up. Oh, I can't believe they're not trained on this. So stupid. It, the, the foul part is it's probably part of their policy. Come on, make it happen. Let's go. Either take me to jail or let me go, you clown! Alright, sir, step on up. Where's my phone? It's still over there. Do you want to give me your name or not? Uh, you can fuck off. Okay. Cool, I'll see you in the lawsuit, bud. Okay. Dumb fucker off. So stupid. What's your name and badge number, bud? Name and badge Baron number? Baron Villa, 14581. Baron Villa, 145182. I left my phone over here where somebody could fucking steal it. So this is Russell who put me in cuffs right here. So this is Russell who put me in cuffs right here. Do you need anything from me? And, uh, yeah, I need a complaint for him now, and I need your superior here since you guys just violated the shit out of my rights. I can give you my card and the complaint. And I need this guy's name at this point. Hey, I need your name now, bud. You didn't give me your name. You know what? He did give you his name? He didn't. Okay. He never said it. He gave me a number, but he never gave me his name. I need your name now. Cor Ordone? Ordone. So this idiot, too. Okay. I, I said I need your supervisor here. Yeah. Your supervisor I am, I am here. The supervisor, so you're the supervisor, but I need yours. That's not going to happen. Okay, you guys want to add to the lawsuit? You called your lieutenant and they told you not to let me go, huh? Because you can't trespass from public, bud. Why would you think you can do that? I was trying to tell you guys this. Okay. Right. Why would you do it? You just do what I say or you're going in cuffs? Is that what it is? No. That's, you, that's what you did. Fact. I didn't have to, bud. Okay, I understand that. You don't have authority yeah, over it. Listen, now. you're normal. Now? Yeah. You're a fucking corporal. You're the watch commander. Right. What do you mean I understand it now? You know how many times You should have understood it fucking how long you've been a cop. Okay. How we're long have you been a cop? How long right have now? you been a cop? Okay. What do you mean we're not going to have the discussion? Well, would you want that to happen to you? No, I wouldn't. For, for nothing? You didn't commit a crime? All because another city worker said he wanted it? That's your only thing. He was saying he wanted it, and you were trying to play the tough guy. But without this, this, and tough these tough guys, guy. you weren't, you're not tough, bro. I wasn't bro. trying to play the tough guy. Yeah, you were. You put your hands on me. You should have said, hold on. I didn't want to put my hands on you. You I did. You aside. did, and you didn't have authority to do that. You're just a normal person. I understand. You have no authority over for nobody unless you have what what is it that you that gives you the authority to detain so I asked you to step outside doesn't that's matter that's not a crime I don't I have to listen to you okay so what gives you the authority you, to detain you but you me. did and so did he yes. you guys wanted to I can tell right when you walked in you guys to. were gonna put your hands on me I could tell just by your attitudes okay. All right. so what do you need to detain somebody yeah, we're gonna get going what do you need to detain somebody come on tell me Reason, reasonable, articulable sorry. suspicion of a crime, right? No, you'll be sorry, bud. When I'm in your house with you, you'll be sorry. What an asshole, dude. Fucking bunch of clowns. So you got 1501981. We got 1621478. 
2005 is the vehicle number. And uh, this guy just straight fucked up. Straight up violated my rights. Made the decision to violate my rights. Said he didn't want to put his hands on me, but he did. Instead of thinking, hey, there's no crime here. I don't have reasonable suspicion. All I have is this dude saying he wants him to leave. Um, he just put his hands on me instead of saying, you know, having a reasonable suspicion of a crime. Fucking dumbass. And this is the watch commander. And he says, oh, I understand that now. When I was telling him, hey, you should go to call your lieutenant, man. You know, you want to put me in the back of the car, cuff me. These are my wrists. Look at this. I told them the cuffs were too tight. They didn't not once try to take the cuffs off me. Look at this. Got me in the back of the car with cuff marks now all over my wrists. And I tried to I tried to tell these guys. But they walked in with that with that uh they walked in with that mind frame of hey you're gonna listen to me or else. That's the mind frame that they had. Watch, they I bet you how much you want to bet this is locked. Yep, during business hours. These are, it's office hours and they got the doors locked now. I wasn't mean or disrespectful to these people at all. The only thing I did respond to was the manager dude calling me a loser because that's hella unprofessional. It's not cool for him to do that. And I was just walking around recording. I was, wasn't even focused on the staff. And then as they started talking to me, I started talking back to them. And uh, then it all went to hell. Look, he got a, he got a sign up now closed. Look, now they got two closed signs. I'll be back every day next week, baby. Promise you that. Let's go ahead and see how they act. Better remember something. They got the doors locked again. They're not supposed to be having these doors locked. They're open Mondays. See, look, he's putting it down right now. Because they knew I would come back. They're open Mondays, but they went ahead and put the... See? Look at that. They're open, but they put the uh, thing. Administration office is closed. You better close every day, baby, because I'm going to be back. Every day. Shut it down. So... Right now, they're wasting our public tax dollars because people are here at work and the and the citizens can't come in and get services. So they went ahead and locked the doors. And like I said, this was all open when they see me coming, but they see me hurry up and walk by and they went ahead and shut this. And you guys seen them shut this. So this is not what we want to see from our public servants. OK, and, and I'm going to be true to my word. I'm going to keep coming back here and coming back here and coming back here. They need to open this office. They have papers up that say uh, you can do it online. But there's plenty of old people and disabled people that they have to serve. They don't have a choice. And so they need to open these places up. Look, the administration office is closed. Um, this is not how it works to process a permit. Like I'm saying, they better come back. They better close it every day because I'm going to come back every single day.